Welcome back. I want to talk about using document fingerprints in Microsoft Cloud App Security. Now, in previous videos, I uploaded that document fingerprint to the uh, Microsoft 365 Data Classification Service, and you could see it got created as a custom sense of information type here, which means I can use it in DLP policies for Exchange Online, but I could also use it in policies in Cloud App Security. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a file policy. And actually I've already done this. So let me just set my filter to file policy and I'm going to show you the policy I created. So I've created a policy that says apply employee performance sensitivity labels to any document matching this certain fingerprint. So I have my filter set to all of my apps in Office 365. Now, if I had other apps connected, SaaS apps connected, such as G Suite or, uh, or Dropbox or Box, that would also show up here. I have my filter here for apply to set wide open and the inspection method, I have it set to data classification service. And then I click on choose another uh, uh, type and I choose fingerprint and then I select the fingerprint that I wanna use. And you can see I've already done that here. And then I can adjust the match accuracy if I need to. Now I could also create an alert, although that might get kind of noisy, so you may or may not wanna do that. And then I'm gonna apply my governance action. So it's gonna scan through all the data in OneDrive and SharePoint. And if it finds any data that matches that fingerprint, it's going to apply a uh, sensitivity label called employee performance data. And that sensitivity label will encrypt that document. So that way, if it is shared externally, it's encrypted. And that sensitivity label may also apply a, a watermark or a header or any other kind of markings that I wanted to apply, maybe apply permissions, everything that goes along with the sensitivity label. So being able to use a, a fingerprint is just another way to inspect data in a SaaS app. And if it matches that document fingerprint, then apply a governance action. Just like if I were to choose uh, you know, trainable classifiers or EDM or a canned sense of information type. So let me show you another example with this. Actually, before I do, let's switch over to files. This is where after about 30 minutes or so, um, it found those files in OneDrive and it scanned it and it matched with the document fingerprint that's in the service. And here you can see the system says that it matched a policy. It went ahead and applied a label to it. And the label that was applied was that employee performance data label. And it did this with two files that it found uh, basically here in my, my OneDrive. So that's the MCAS policy and that file policy in action. And then from here, I can administratively remove the label and, and do other things. But let's look at another example of this. So I might set my filter to now, I might set it to uh, access level and I might choose external and public. So if it's shared externally uh, outside the organization, let's then inspect the document. And if it matches the fingerprint, then apply a governance action of applying a sensitivity label or hey, let's just make it private and remove those external users. So as you can see, this could be extremely powerful if used correctly. Now, my best advice I can give you is try to answer two questions. The first question is, what are you trying to do? Let's be really clear about that. What's the outcome you're trying to drive? And then the second question is, why are you trying to do it? And if you can answer both of those questions, that will help you configure your filter here and your inspection methods. But this is just an example of using a document fingerprint in Microsoft 365 inside a cloud app security policy to apply governance to, to files. Now, I'm showing you those files are located in OneDrive and SharePoint, but hey, it could be in Box, Dropbox, G Suite, uh, and other SaaS apps. Okay, hopefully you found value in this video. If you did find value, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment, and feel free to share this with others who may find value as well. I've got a lot more videos coming, so feel free to subscribe so you can be notified, and we'll see everybody in the next video. Take care.